acknowledge that this church is situated upon traditional indigenous territory. This land is part of Treaty Number 20, signed in 1818, by representatives of the Anishinaabe Ojibwe peoples of Mississaugan and Chippewaian dialects. The treaty includes all of the city of Kortha Lakes. We also recognize the enduring presence of First Nations peoples on this land. Good morning and welcome to this service of Holy Eucharist for the first Sunday of Christmas, December 26th. This service is being recorded ahead of time and I think it's important that you know that as COVID protocols are changing daily, sometimes hourly. So if something seems a little bit askew to you as to what the reality of December 26th might be, that is most likely what is occurring. Let us worship. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Our opening hymn is number 153, Good Christians All Rejoice. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Also with you. Almighty God, to you, to you all, all hearts, hearts are, are open, open, all desires, desires known, and, and from, from you no secrets are, are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we, we may, may perfectly, perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have shed upon us the new light of your incarnate word. May this light, enkindled in our hearts, shine forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We move into the readings.
Our first reading this morning is taken from 1 Samuel 2, beginning at the 18th verse. Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. His mother used to make, him, make for him a little robe and take it to him each year when she went up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. Then Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife and say, May the Lord repay you with children by this woman for the gift that she made to the Lord. And then they would return to their home. Now the boy Samuel continued to grow both in stature and in favor with the Lord and with the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm today is number 148 on page 907 in the book of alternative, alternative services. We will read the verses alternatively. Hallelujah, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him sun and moon, Praise him, all you shining stars. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of heaven and earth. You open our eyes to see the wonders around us and our hearts and mouths to praise you. Now give us strength for loving service through Jesus Christ our Lord. The second reading, Colossians 3, verses 12 to 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord had forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in, your, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. The Gospel of Christ. Holy Spirit, take my words and speak to each person who hears, according to their needs. Amen. If I have not seen you over the last couple of days, Merry Christmas. Today, December 26th, is one of those days that most parents appreciate, especially if you are the parents or grandparents of small children. Children of all ages have spent the last few weeks in ever-growing anticipation of Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, and of course, what they would find under the Christmas tree this year. People often say that Christmas is for children, and that may well be true, given the central focus of Christmas is the Christ child. However, if December 25th is for children, then December 26th is for parents. In my decades of parenting, I have often found that today is a day that is more about having some mama time with my favorite blanket and a cup of tea, rather than time focused on my children, regardless of how old they are. So it is not surprising that our scriptures are focused a bit more on parents today specifically Hannah and Elkanah and Mary and Joseph. These are two sets of parents that the Bible lifts up to us as exemplars, and they speak to us of the sacrifices that parents make for their children, something that I'm sure that many of us can relate to, whether it was our own parents who made sacrifices for us or something that we did for our own children. Those of you who had a family Christmas yesterday, and I know that's probably less of you than when I originally wrote this, or earlier this month, for all of you, you probably tried really hard to make it a special time for your family, especially if you were not able to gather last year. However, it probably also did not go as planned. In my world, Christmas never goes as planned. Maybe your cat climbed up the tree, breaking ornaments as she went. Maybe you burnt the mince tarts. Someone complained that the turkey was too dry. Or my special favorite, the dog threw up under the table because everyone was feeding him rich food. So today, I ask you all to put that aside 
and come keep company with Mary. We who have made sacrifices for others over this season have an opportunity for spiritual growth out of this. If we take time during this more low energy phase of Christmas for meditation and reflection. Lutheran theologian and pastor Caroline Lewis writes, never underestimate the ponderings of a mother. Once again, we find Mary pausing to wonder what all of this means. Here in this story of Mary finally finding her lost son, she is once again thoroughly keeping all of these things in her heart. Mary invites us into that contemplative space, a space that is not looking so much to obtain answers, but a space to ponder God's place in and purpose for our lives. Mary summons us to sit and wonder, and Mary asks us to keep her company. Because Christmas isn't over yet. We know that, of course, at least on a liturgical level. While the rest of the world is already busy taking down the lights and packing up the ornaments, Christians find themselves in this rather countercultural afterplace where Christmas still matters. But all too soon, we allow this reflective and meditative space into which Mary leads us to be infiltrated with the opinions of what others think Christmas means, with the voices and visions of those who do not have the pensive power of Mary. Mary reminds us of an essential act of discipleship, reflection, because none of what God is up to should ever be easy to get or at once understood. So this is a Christmas gift to each of you, the gift of reflection and contemplation. Keep company with Mary just a little while longer. Spend time beside the manger, wondering as Mary did. Steal a couple of extra moments in the temple watching this amazing boy, Jesus and hold all of this in your heart. So for the next two minutes, let's do just that. Let's take that time to ponder as Mary did and then share a prayer together.
Let us pray. God of glory, your splendor shines from a manger in Bethlehem, where the light of the world is humbly born into the darkness of human night. Grant us faith, O Christ, to see your presence among us, so that all of creation may sing new songs of gladness and walk in the way of peace. And may we, like Mary, be full of gentleness and compassion, holding your word near in our hearts. Amen. Let us stand and confess our faith as we say together, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets, we believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. In joy and humility, let us pray to the creator of the universe, saying, Lord, grant us peace. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord by the mystery of the word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. Lord by the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord by the manifestation of the King of Glory to the shepherds and the Magi, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the baptism of the Son of God in the River Jordan, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Grant that your church may glorify and serve you by serving the world. We pray that all may know that God sent love into the world when he sent his son, Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us, us peace. peace. Grant that those that we know who are sick, in need or distress, may find comfort and healing in your love. Hear us, O Lord. Lord. Grant that those who have served so well 
during this time of COVID may be blessed for, do, for the actions in which they have served others. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant our Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. God welcomes sinners and invites them to this table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We greet one another in the name of the newborn Son of God. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Good King Wenceslas will be sung. Let us pray. God of light, in the birth of your Son, we see your glory. May we who share in this mystery grow daily in your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. We give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, who in the mystery of his incarnation was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother. In him, we have seen a new and radiant vision of your glory. 
Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices and sing our joyful hymn of praise to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, Lord, our God, for the goodness and love you have made known to us in creation, in calling Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, a death he freely accepted, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, according to his command, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we, made acceptable in him, may be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, reconcile all things in Christ and make them new and bring us to that city of light where you dwell with all your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord the firstborn of all creation the head of the church and the author of our salvation by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that light is the light of the world. God, here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light in our life. 
the Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. So many will be viewing this as we stream it and invite you to join in a spiritual communion through this prayer we offer now. I worship and adore you, Lord Jesus Christ, present in the Holy Sacrament and in your people who are gathered in spirit. In this moment, I join with them to receive you in my heart and in our community. May you enthrone on the altar, now be enthroned in my heart. May you who give yourself to us again, fill us with grace and heavenly blessing. Even as I am fed, may my hunger for you and for your reign of justice and peace increase, that I may, with your spirit, work for that day when your reign shall come on earth as it is in heaven. The gifts of God for the people of God.
source of truth and joy, may we who have received the gifts of divine life always follow the way of your Son. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Creator, the Redeemer, that you born Son and the Sanctifier, be with you this Christmas tide and forevermore. Hymn 140, it came upon a midnight clear. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve our newborn king. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.